Hey guys, Avinash Singh here. Today we are going to learn DFMEA. This is the 8th lesson of automotive engineering for competition under the safety module. The acronym might sound scary but this is a bit simpler than it sounds. DFMEA stands for Design Failure Mode Effective Analysis. Okay, now how many of you have seen a car or a bike or a truck getting crashed but the driver or a passenger still manages to escape and save his or her life? Okay, now now we have also heard that the most casualty happens due to road accident. Over like 2,57,000 people were killed in road accident in 2016 alone. That is more than the number of people killed in all wars put together. There is one death every 4 minutes due to road accidents in India. Automobile companies use this DFME analysis once their design or a product is ready. It is used to minimize the risk of failure and prepare for alternatives so that it is convenient for the people to sort out any trouble as quickly as possible. I will not go very deep into the theoretical aspects of DFMEA. For that you have internet and your college teacher. Like without wasting much of your time, I will let you know how to calculate RPN number and how to minimize RPN. Okay, so RPN stands for risk priority number which is calculated by multiplication of severity, occurrence and detection. Severity stands for overall impact of your car like uh, the, the impact that your car will suffer if a component gets fail. We will discuss uh, this thing in detail in the next slide. Occurrence is the probability of a certain part to get fail that is like how frequent that component is getting failed and detection is like how easily you can identify failure in a component of a car. So uh, this is the slide that you need to put down in your PPT. In the first column See, the first, in the first column, you need to put down the names of sub-assemblies where chances of failure are most likely. In the second column, this is, this is the second column, potential failure mode. In the second column, the potential modes of failure for that particular sub-assembly is mentioned. For example, engine will fail if there is a leakage. Then in the third column, the effect of failure will be mentioned. In case of engine leakage, there will be fire or the engine performance will go down due to oil leakage. Now the fourth column is severity, which as we discussed in the last slide is the impact it has on your car if engine fails. Like now because engine plays a vital role in your car and with engine failure you won't be able to drive it. So we have put a severity of 10 which is maximum and one is less. Now the fifth column uh, you are saying explain it explains the mechanism like uh, the mechanism which is responsible for the failure. In case of engine uh, it is defective manufacturing and improper handling. Now uh, see the sixth column. The sixth column stands for occurrence. Occurrence is like how frequent uh, is the chances of this part like the engine how much to get fail. It is measured on a scale of 1 to 5. Uh, now come to the 7th column. The 7th column stands for current design which you have made and analyzed using CAD and CAE to control such failure. Right. Uh, the 8th column is the type of identification you can make. It can be uh, either detection or prevention depending on the type of sub-assembly. The 9th column stands for the scale of age like under which you can identify the point of failure. In the 10th column, you have to calculate the RPN as discussed above by multiplying severity and occurrence and detection. If RPN is greater than 10, which must be there, then in the 11th column, that is this column, you will mention the recommended action to decrease the scale of detection and occurrence and then recalculate the RPN in the last column, like uh, which should must come below or equal to 10. So this is all about uh, DFMEA, 
uh, you can download the rest of slide like I have put down the link below you can read it uh, these are like what is DFMEA how to perform DFMEA when to perform DFMEA thank you thanks a lot keep studying keep learning all the best for your virtual bar